Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new Tesla update video. So today, as per usual, let's go over Tesla stock. Let's go over the market. Let's talk about what is happening today, what we can expect moving into next week. Next week is a big one. We have RoboTaxi events. I'm very excited for it personally. I, I cannot wait to see what they show off and everything else. And I don't know, I'm very excited for it. I, I really am. I honestly think we're making history here potentially, but like, you know, if you look back in 10 years. Anyways, all that being said and done, let's just jump into it. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. This is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. And of course, my membership section on YouTube is live. That link is down below. You guys can still mention your thoughts, posts, updates, every technical analysis on Tesla, sometimes other stocks as well. Like I've been doing Google, Microsoft recently. We did Oxy the other day um before it broke out and everyone else is now talking about it so yeah three dollars a month you get access to all that or for five dollars you can access to all that as well plus nvidia daily updates as well if you're interested in nvidia so let's jump into it also if you enjoy this mustache i decided to get a mustache i don't know i, I shaved today and i decided to leave the mustache for fun never really rocked the mustache before so <laughs> let me know what you think i guess anyways jumping into it nvidia, nvidia tesla rather closing the day up uh, almost four percent closing at pretty much 250 dollars per share pretty damn nice day but again nothing that is unexpected right it's it's so far playing out almost exactly like i said and even this morning six hours ago i said max pain today was 247.5 it actually moved down to 250 uh 250 245 nonetheless i told my members a dance between 245 and 250 is expected for for today really right and that's exactly what we got pretty much a dance between that range right the low of today was 244.58 the high of today was 250.96 pretty damn close and that's what we got the rest of the day which is why i barely paid attention because i didn't I, I had a feeling today would just be a nothing burger for the most part intraday price action the world admit, was a little bit wonky at times but nonetheless we pretty much zigzag between 250 and 245 as expected now what is you know what happens moving forward right so we called out the move right up here everyone was bullish we called out and i mentioned how i want to see down here somewhere right 245 some you know mid to high 230s we got that i loaded up personally I'm still holding everything uh, i haven't sold a single share um but you know there are still signs of concern i don't think tesla's completely out of the woodworks just yet right because again i still personally believe like i mentioned back when we were still in 26 i still believe we're going to be roughly playing out this pattern back here and pretty much again like i said zigzagging uh you know in that general range between the 260s ish to about the 240s ish right so far so good and i personally expect a bit of a further push up uh early next week maybe even as early as monday to be completely honest to set up that lower high around 255 is my current expectation right because tesla actually looks pretty decent right you can argue the fact that you know it was in this little uh descending wedge uh that looks something like this on the one hour and then we broke out of it now you know a continuation upwards you know is to be expected in my opinion but i don't expect us to go too too much higher from here so if you take the fibonacci retracement you can see you know at the very least of the 0.5 fibonacci which we i guess technically reached today ever so briefly are around 251 but honestly i personally expect about 254 255 again monday potentially even right maybe as early as monday i, I don't like giving time frames i, I really i hate time frames I, I don't know when it'll happen but if i had to guess maybe monday honestly a lot of you know with this continued uh continue bullish momentum short term right so you know I, i'd be watching for that personal level right now best case scenario is a gap fill back to about 257 to 258 that's like the best case scenario like i'd be it's a possibility um but that's like the you know best case scenario in my opinion realistically of course before we you know regardless still put in a lower high like ultimately the point i'm trying to make here is the fact that whether we go up to 255 or 257 like at some point around this general vicinity i do expect us to start getting rejection and start putting in a lower high and then making our way back down and then ultimately putting in a higher low and like i said i ultimately expect us to consolidate and start putting in higher lows uh, lower highs and essentially making a uh, bull flag on the daily and then everyone on probably wednesday or thursday is going to start talking about the bull flag heading into the robotax event you can quote me on this right now I, i'm calling it right now people will start talking about it but as usual we were talking about it well before everyone else is right that's what i like to try to find i try to i like to look for these opportunities before other people are seeing them or at least a lot of other people are seeing them and that's what i'm personally expecting right now so we'll see how it plays out but that's kind of the gist of what i'm expecting moving into next week and the beautiful thing about that is if, if we do end up following what i'm expecting this like pattern of this bull flag setting up with lower highs higher lows is going to give a lot of uncertainty unfortunately going into the robo tax event i'm assuming i don't know what time it is on thursday it is it's on i'm assuming after market closes probably somewhere around like five or so eastern i would guess maybe six something like that is my guess but it's gonna give us a lot of uncertainty going into it because we're going to be setting up this bull flag which you know if this bull flag back here was any example you know it it doesn't have to break out to the upside right it, you know again usually not always but usually when you get these bull flags and you zigzag like this you usually continue up uh, uh to the upside right that's that's the more common routes but again especially with the earnings catalyst that we had last time that's not always the case right so hopefully this time if we do end up playing out the way i think we do we end up just breaking uh to the upside right and we'll go something like this and then we kind of go like this that's kind of what i'm hoping for right now right that's m my expectation 
for now at least as we continue you know uh, zigzagging in this channel breaking out the both like and honestly maybe even going up breaking 270 which would be crucial very crucial and then making our way to the top of the channel once again that's my current expectation and again like i said many times before and i'll reiterate it one more time breaking above this um uh high back from back here on about uh, july 11th which is pretty much 270 roughly very very important before we fall out of this channel because like i said many times before at some point we will fall out of this channel it absolutely unquestionably and i promise you it will happen it's just a matter of when not if did we break out of it somewhere around pretty much right where we are roughly right now without breaking 270s first or do we break 270s first and we move up and, you know and we do something like this you know do you get a little zigzag get the bull flag going break up get above 270 get to about 280 dollars per share and then we ultimately get a rejection come back down to this area one more time and then go up even higher from there this would be a nice little bullish retest come back down out of this channel in my opinion it will be a you know a, a, an opportunity to potentially you know add more shares not financial advice just my opinion this is not financial advice right or um if we don't do this and we actually fall out earlier and let's say we do the zigzag and then ultimately we come back down like this kind of like what we did back here which would be unfortunate but if that's the case then we fall out of this channel before breaking this high over here around 270 that's gonna be really bullish and i think tesla is actually gonna go probably much lower at the very least uh minimum in my opinion the very low 200s if not potentially you know back to the 180s honestly and even lower than that it becomes an actual possibility back into the 170s and unfortunately maybe even 160s right essentially I, I i'm a lot more bearish i'm a lot more bearish if we fall out of this channel before breaking that 270 high i'm a lot more bullish if we do it if you follow the channel after breaking that 270 high that's just my overall medium term perspective on maybe even slightly long term perspective on tesla to be completely honest but let's go over to the weekly chart over here really really quickly Okay, you know what? Honestly, who cares about this one? I want to do this. This one's this one's relevant. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at the weekly chart. Now, again, the reason I have uh, uh, Transpider over here is um, because so this chart I, I chart on logarithmic, right? Transpider right here. I have a set to sorry linear here, and then Transpider is on logarithmic, right? And the reason I have it on logarithmic is because the logarithmic, like I said many times before as well, the logarithmic version of the weekly multi-year trend line has the most confirmation i would say uh in a sense that you know it's again you know many times it's rejected the weekly time uh the weekly uh resistance line has never went above it and, and closed above it a weekly candle very important to mention that but what we did today uh this week and last week is uh, so far so far i don't want to jinx it i don't want to get bullish and then suddenly it crashes i don't want to jinx it maybe it's a sell the news and we do actually crash below there's always a risk i, I want to make this very clear no matter how good this looks and it looks pretty damn good right now there is always a risk, especially with a stock like Tesla. I just make that really damn clear. Like, there's always a risk, always. No matter how perfect and textbook this setup looks, bullish honestly, there's always a risk. Nothing is guaranteed. Make sure you understand that. Make sure you understand that. Very important. However, with that being said and done, never have we closed the weekly candle above this trend line until last week. And what do we do this week? I mentioned it, right? I mentioned it when we closed last week. I mentioned how if we do come back down to retest the bottom of this channel roughly, which we pretty much did, or we got like within dollars of it, right? That lines up almost to perfection with a retest of this multi-year trend line breakout that we just had last week and today or this week we had a retest of it right back into it and bounced off of it almost to perfection. Like you really can't ask for a better, more perfect retest than the one we just had. I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling really bullish about it. I don't want that to be like famous last words or anything, because again, there's always a risk. I want to make that really damn clear. But as it stands right this very moment, as we're looking at it after today's closure on Friday, October 4th, post-market weekly candle closure, it looks very clean, very textbook, pretty much exactly what you would want to see as a bull with this retest. So far, so good, and I'm feeling good about it. Now we have to make sure it holds. But again, you, you, I want to make something, I guess, a little bit clearer is the fact that there is still a chance that we come back and retest it a few more times, right? Kind of like, you know, this weekly trend line, we, we came up to it several times and we retested it several times or like back here, you know, we never closed a weekly candle above it, but we kept testing it like four weeks in a row, essentially, all of them failed. 
So, you know, we can technically make something like this happen just on the flip side, right? Where we just kind of hug the bottom uh, the, the, uh, uh, this trend line on constant weekly retest. So maybe next week we come back down again to 238, right? Maybe the week after that, we still come back down to about 237, 238. Like we can still consistently keep doing that, right? There is that technical possibility. I just, I don't know if that'll happen because if that happens like that far in, like let's say by like, not next week even, but the week after, we will fall out of this channel by then because this channel is a rising channel. If we keep testing this uh, uh, retest over here, that probably means we've fallen out of this channel though because again, this one's, you know, it's rising pretty steeply, right? So there will be a bit of an issue if that happens. So I think worst case scenario as of right now, realistically, assuming this bullish thesis holds, is that maybe we get one more retest sometime next week down to about that 240s-ish range, which isn't completely unheard of to potentially set that higher low that I've been talking about during this consolidation. That, in my opinion, is the realistic bullish worst case scenario. But as long as those levels hold, I think Tesla is actually setting up pretty beautifully moving into... Honestly, the, the rest of this month, I, 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 it's hard to say that without having a little bit of doubt, mainly because October is supposed to be very bearish as we're heading into elections. It is supposed to be a bearish month. Like there, there is supposed to be some concern here. But if you were to just take anything away from this, watch for this retest on the logarithmic chart. Pay attention to that. Every single week that is happening, watch for that. You know, you, 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 it's fine if we go below it. It's just, do we close back above it? That's the most important thing. And the second most important thing on the daily is this rising channel. Do we fall out of the channel before or after we break, uh, uh, before or after the 270 snap, right? Do we break 270 and then fall or do we fall before breaking 270? In my opinion, those are probably the most two important things to watch out for. That alone should be enough to let you uh, have a decent way of following Tesla moving forward for the next, honestly, the rest of the month maybe even, uh, or at least for the next couple of weeks. Uh, and yeah, that's just kind of what I'm seeing, and that's kind of what I'm expecting. In terms of options flow, let's take a very quick look at options flow. Tesla, uh, it is actually the most, one of the most bearish, 20, almost 24 million confirmed bearish flow. Not a crazy amount, honestly, but you know, it is what it is. And in terms of you know, direct options flow on Tesla, very, very bullish, actually. Uh, so a bit of a, I mean, this is saying 24 million confirmed bearish flow. This is, uh, in general, saying 30 million confirmed bullish flow with only eight confirmed bearish flow. So I don't know which one's more right. I'll be completely honest. Again, this is why I don't personally look at options flow too, too much. I don't care. But if I were just to look at this, the amount of bullish flow that came in on Tesla, including a 4.7 million call that came in for next week's Friday, 250 strike, is pretty insane. Is pretty insane. That is actually quite a pretty massive size. So we'll see. The whales clearly are bullish. The whales definitely seem to be bullish. Maybe they're ready to profit. Who knows? But I mean, you know, the whales are definitely stepping in for robot taxi. So we'll see. We'll see. But again, I do expect a run up to about 255 to maybe as high as 257 slash eight. Um, as early as Monday, but probably by Wednesday, I would assume uh, would be the latest. But I would assume Monday and then probably going to the robot taxi event. Maybe we get a bit of a dip, set up that both like set up that higher low, lower high. And I think from there, hopefully we break out to the upside and we don't repeat what happened back here. Anyways, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. See you for the next one. Peace.